All right, we are here at Thai Pusum 2023 here in Penang, Malaysia. We have some of the men with the limes stuck in their body right here. We've been in this line for about the past 90 minutes trying to get to the top of Waterfall Temple. If you want to know what this is all about, whether it's the limes or our waiting in this line, you should probably watch the rest of this video. So now we're going to start the video in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to Thai Pusum. Okay, we have located the chariot. We've been on a bit of a hunt this morning. We didn't record it. It has eluded us all morning. This chariot is going along a route through the city of Georgetown. Oh, here's some smashing of uh, coconuts here, Duncan. We have to get around this ring of coconuts being smashed to get to the chariot. I'm not sure what the coconuts are about exactly. That's on the list of things to find out today. We've located the chariot. It is being pulled by a gigantic rope that a lot of people are collectively putting some manpower into. But also, I think it's actually being moved electrically, and this is more symbolic. This is the gold chariot. There's two chariots today. There's a gold chariot and a silver chariot. A pile of coconuts ready to be smashed when the chariot's on its way. We've got some coconuts being smashed over here. Look at the bulldozers coming in. You gotta get it, Duncan. Get that shot. It's a very efficient way to clean up all the coconuts. First, we got the smashed coconuts. Then we have the bulldozer to take all the coconut shells off the road. Then we got the police to clear the way out. We have a donation box and then another truck. Let's see what the function of this truck is. Do we know the function of this truck? I wanna know the function of this truck. But then we have the chariot right here. I don't understand the language, so I can't tell you guys what's going on until it actually happens. We have some chanting going on. All right, here we go. We're on the move. Let's roll with the chariot. Let's keep let's keep going with the chariot. All right, here's the guy with the microphone up here. What's this all about? What's this giant pole all about? Do we know, Duncan? No idea what that pole is about. We need to understand the symbolism of the chariot. That should be on the list as well. We're having trouble finding each other here. Oh, we got a little skip in the music, so I can tell you that Duncan is on the other side. What's going on on your side over there? Oh, we figured out the pose. Oh! That would put a damper on Thai food, so they shut the electricity off around here. All right, we got some sacrifices going on here. Let's, let's, let's follow these people and figure out what's going on. We really love the coconut bulldozer. We have some coconut preparation going on. I think this would be good to cover. <laughs> Good luck. She doesn't really know what's going on, but she's ready to smash some coconuts. The chariot's coming around the corner. We're hanging out with the Hua right here. We're ready to smash some coconuts over here. All right, we're preparing. Oh, Jay Young. Looks like we gotta strip the coconut here. Wait, not at the car. <laughs> We're just smashing coconuts out here. Tai Pusam with the Malaysia, the Hua Ren. Oh, this guy's getting a good shot right here. He's got the face mask on to protect himself from the coconut water. Ichiba! Son! Tai Pusam. Okay, okay. Hey. Oh, she needs Kwaila. Tai Pusam Kwaila. So we smashed some coconuts that was on the list to complete. Apparently we've, we've created good luck in some fashion. Could you explain a little bit about what's going on? The chariot will come up from the temple and they will go to another temple. This is called the starting data. They will go to the waterfall temple. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we've been giving it giving a treat. Oh, thank you so hey. much. What do you think, Duncan? Delicious. Really good. Dude, massive coconut smashing. All right, we've located the biggest coconut smashing circle so far today. You can see they're making food. There's a line, rice, curry, etc. All of the goodies that you would expect. We have learned that today is the starting day. It is not the entirety of the festival. We might be out later tonight. We might be out tomorrow. We have to assess, but there will be a continuation of this video. We're definitely not done. See you late, later, tomorrow, later, maybe later, probably later. I think later, yeah? Later.
Later. All right, bye. So it's tomorrow. It ended up being tomorrow. It wasn't later. I'm going to get back here a little bit, hang out with these guys. We're here at Tai Pusam here in Penang. I see some people with jugs of milk on their head, so we're going to go see what that's all about. We just got to get through the police here. It looks like they're about to all walk up together. We should probably get ahead of them and we can get... We can, we can. How should we play this, Duncan? I think all the people with the milk is just behind them, so it's like almost like the beginning of a marathon. We're trying to stay ahead of the men. I thought it was the women. Maybe it's not milk. No, no, I see milk dripping from that guy's container. That's milk for sure. All right, we're getting caught up in the traffic here. We got. Let's make a move here. We got the motorbike. Looks like people are visiting this temple right to the left of Duncan. All the performers are going up to it. It looks like the man with the hooks as well. We have another collection of people moving in one unit. Let's go check this unit out. So all of these silver objects, I'm not sure what they are exactly, are hooked into the skin of these men. Okay, so we must be close to the temple at this point. People donating blood on Tai Pusam? Duncan is telling me there's about a 15 minute walk on stairs. We're obviously going to partake in. Because we're here to show you what this is all about, what these people celebrate, why they do it. We gotta figure out why they do it. That's an important part. We haven't really done that yet. We've just been seeing everything. If you are a devotee, this is where you can safely keep your shoes. I think we're definitely gonna have to take our shoes off. I mean, I'm not against taking my shoes off. We are at a bit of a standstill here. We are slowly making our way barefoot by barefoot. Tai Pusum. What a day. So we've made it to a rest stop of a sort. You can see, like yesterday, free drinks are being given to people making this journey here. You can see we are still barefoot. So here you'll see we've got the line. It's not a line, it's just people are just trying to get up there. And there's so many that it's difficult to get up there. After about a two and a half hour wait, more or less, being a part of the pilgrimage, walking up the 500 steps, most of the time was not spent walking up the steps, but rather standing on them, waiting to walk up to the next step. We have made it. We have made it to the Waterfall Temple. So I wonder where all the milk goes. Here we go. This dude right here is about to pour it into a big jug. And it looks like they also pour the milk on the statue of the god. This festival is to celebrate Lord Marugan. Apparently he really loves milk or milk is a way to express your love for him. So I know Duncan tried to get the shot of the milk being poured on the statue of the god. I don't know if we got it, but if we didn't, it's being live broadcasted on these TVs. It looks like flames are also being put in front, perhaps incense, and then a whole lot of milk. You can confirm, Lord Marugan. Yes, for sure, okay. So we've got Lord Marugan. This is what the festival is all about right here. All right, let's go see if there's anything going on up here. It looks like there might be some refreshments. It's milk. Is it just, mi is that just part of the thing? Or is it like, is this like the holy milk? Do we know, is it the holy milk? You know where they saw the people pouring the milk? Yeah. Do you think it's like connected to like an underground, like, do you think that's what we're drinking? Half of me wants to say it's like a bad question that we're asking that, that they might be reusing it, but I, I think they might be reusing it. I think reusing it implies it's a bad thing. I think like almost you give it to the gods and then it, and then it comes out and then you drink it almost like a cylindrical. Right. Cyclical, cyclical. Cy cyclical. I think it's, yeah, cyclical. All right, so we're heading up these stairs to see what's going on up here. We gotta ask someone about this milk though, for sure. I feel like it's a dumb question. I feel like it's like, no idiot. Like, we have our own milk to serve. Can I ask you a question? Yes. This milk, is it 
the same milk from inside the temple or different milk? No, from inside the temple, which they already given as an offering to the Lord Murugan. Right. There's a charity organization over there. They're just taking it up, putting it inside the cup and giving it. So we saw the men with the hooks. It's a way of suffering to show respect to the Not actually suffering. It's just a wow for them. Pay penance to Lord Murugan. And then the limes. Limes. So why limes? Because uh, lime, it's a fruit which we can get quite naturally. From those days, they're just putting the lime over there. If I would I potentially put hooks on me for the more hooks, the more, the bigger the ask, the more no, no, like no, no. It's not they get way. better. It's not that way. It's your mind, you see. The thing, you, you tank, it's not how many hooks you put, it's more than less hooks, anything. It's your intention and your devotion. Not the number of hooks you're going to wear. It's all in you, devotion. That's Hinduism. You all can right. practice it. Nobody's going to force you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful time, Pusu. Okay, welcome. Can you tell us how you're celebrating today? We will fast for veggie, vegetarian. How long did you fast? We no, depend on you. Uh, two weeks can, one week also can. Uh, myself, two weeks. My daughter, one month. You fasted for a month? Yeah. It was just something like vegan. It's something like fasting for a month, it depends on the person. Some of them do not eat at all, they just take fruits and milk. For me, oh. I, I was like going, having the normal stuff, but just without meat. Can we talk? Hey, buddy, yeah. What can I do for you? So we were just talking about some of the things that we don't understand today. And one of the things, the shaved heads and then what you put here as well. The best person to explain to you is my wife. You know sandalwood? Sandalwood. Sandalwood. It's, sandalwood. Yes, yeah. Yeah. it's because that once you bought your head, you, you feel like it's very hot, right? So once you put the sandalwood, it's like a cooling effect on the So on instead the of wearing head. a hat. Kind exactly. Of. I should have done this today. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's something like a wow. When you have something to be fulfilled. Let's say somebody is not feeling well. You want to buy something. Everything. Thing is, is, is going in a very hard way for you, all right? So you'll you'll place a wow, you'll make a wow. You poke some things, all right? The hooks, all right, in your mouth, including the shaved head. When your wow has been fulfilled by the God, so you repay him back. So this is a way of repaying back. These guys was uh, not feeling well a few years ago. You know, they were affected by pneumonia. They were in, I would say, in slightly serious condition. So I was like, no hope. This is my only hope. So I made a wow, right? Eventually, these guys recovered. And you're all here together today. Exactly. We had a chance to fulfill our wow. We repay back. In terms of the vows, is there a difference in terms of the vows from the shaving head to the hooks to the limes are they just different types of vows or you name it you name it okay whatever you need to do whatever you want to do you want to take cowardy go ahead you want to shave your head go ahead if you just want to bring a pot of milk without doing anything go ahead it's up to you but you must be genuine it's about what you want to do for him right in a in a genuine way it doesn't mean that you need to do something it's 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 not about rules and regulations all right it's about what you want to do for him how you you repay him back it, it's a way of saying thanks to him okay thank you so much man I really nice to meet you i really buddy. appreciate it what's your no name worries. Okay. my name is ganesh people call me g Gan g i like yes. that g all right, all right g okay. have a great time for thank some g same to you buddy all right bye-bye you what are you doing today? oh you want to meet your oh you want to meet your <笑>你会华语啊你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会华语你会
uh, meanings. Not possible for me to answer it. That's now. okay. But different than the smashing. Yes, yes. Smashing yes. coconut. Good luck. Yeah, the, definitely. They have been doing by the seeds. But this, the temple gives to you. Yes. Many enters inside there, and there is sweets and fruits to sell to make us satisfied. My name is Yoga. Yoga. Yeah. Max. Very nice to meet you. Cheers. Thai Pusam. <laughs> Orange juice, juice. Orange juice, orange juice. It's only orange juice, yeah. yeah. No alcohol, no alcohol, orange juice. So is this, you throw money in, you have a wish, uh, and you hope the gods answer it? Yes. That'd be great, thank you, man. <laughs> My wish is gonna be for you, though. You sure? Yes. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we have some more deities over here we wanna go check out really quick. Is this Shiva? I'm willing to take the guess that it's Shiva. Shiva? Yeah. Shiva. All right, Shiva. Confirmed. Thank you. Young Shiva. Young Shiva. It's a young Shiva. Let's get to the area where we can re shoe here. Ha! Ha! So hot. So hot. Very cool, man. Yeah, this is good. This is better. When do we put our shoes back on? Here or over there? Uh, you also can. Over there also can. All right, we are almost out of here. We are almost in an area where we're gonna put our shoes back on. Do you think I have sensitive feet or am I just sensitive? Dude, it feels like I'm walking on coals here. Mind over matter. All right, I'm gonna put my shoes on right here. Didn't expect this today. Didn't expect a lot about today. We're on our way out, but Duncan has told me there's something about children getting their head shaved. We obviously gotta check that out. So here, you can see the sign right here. Barber shed time table. This is the children's section. I think there are several different stalls for providing this service. Women and babies can get their head shaved, and over here are the men. We're gonna try to make our way to the bus. We're hoping that all of the gear survives, and I'm hoping I survive too, with this truck backing up at me. We are back at the entrance of Waterfall Temple. People are just hanging out, getting some shade. Those are a lot of bees. Moss honey. That's some phenomenal honey. We still have some people going up over here. Oh, wow. Look at this dude. We've learned a lot today. We learned that the limes are not necessarily important because they are limes, but because they are fruits. And these are used as offerings to the gods. We learned that Lord Murugan really likes milk, or milk is a way to express gratitude to him. So they pour milk on the symbol of him, and then they use it to drink and give good health to the body of those who drink it. We learned that smashing coconuts on the ground creates good luck for all those who participate in the act. And we also learned that a lot of Hinduism is about your intention. It's not necessarily what you do, but what you intend to do. That's wonderful. All right, let's get to the bus. Let's get out of here. Hey, we have some Kadavis here. Okay, I keep getting distracted. We need to get out of here. We're almost at the end here. We have some bubbles in the air. Bubbles are a necessity at any festivity, even, even Thai Pusum. But if we come over here, we are going to end up right where we started. As you can see, we have the sign that we saw earlier this morning. The 237 Penang Thai Pusum here on February 5th. All right, Duncan, bring it in here. Anything to add? I think that was our best investigative journalism. Invest this is inv part of this is investigative journalism. Yeah. Field work. Yeah, I think sometimes we actually just pose questions and we actually don't come up with answers. But today, I feel like we got a lot more answers than we, we got. Some, we got some answers. All right. Until then. Bye bye. Bye.